um, I was at Bank of America, and they were like, oh, is this a deposit for your account? And I was like, no, for my sister. And I started chuckling because Pat's black. <laughs> It was her um, it's a corporation. I'd be like, uh, none of your fucking business. Oh, I should have. I'll go in and be Slut, like, do your job. Let me just go in. No, it's none of your fucking business. No, she you was should. really nice, though. The bank teller was really nice. But I, won't, <laughs> I won't go back in and assault her verbally and have myself banned from the local bank again. I'm actually banned <laughs> from this branch of the Bank of America. Did you know that? I got thrown <laughs> out like 10 years ago. I'm not surprised. Every time I see it, you're like, I got banned from that place. I got banned from this place. I got banned from this place. Started a small riot because they, I made a deposit for somebody else and they asked me for ID. I was like, I'm giving you money, asshole. Shut up and dig it. <laughs> That's a good point. Don't oh, feed me lies. I was gonna say. Oh, hold on. I was gonna say. Fuck. Shit. We were gonna use the startup capital that I just acquired. For business expenses. If we're going to have a fucking business here, we're going to need to have a meeting. And if we're going to need a meeting, we're going to have to go to dinner, right? Because that's what people do. Pretty much. And I'm just saying, we should probably take a taxi just in case we have, you know, too much to drink. We'll go with that. <laughs> and, um, before noon. Well, you know, we want to get to work early. We get get a move on things. <laughs> Hey, is there any place that you can, um, like, rent a tractor to drive it around for fun? Yeah, there's, like, tons of places. Well, here? Below the Mason Dix, above the Mason Dixon line. <laughs> I think we're technically still below it, but it doesn't extend out of the, this far out, but. Uh, I really look at a map. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. There's a place on the street for my house. <laughs> oh, what do we have here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so my story. <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you my story. Oh. Um. So <laughs> when I was in San Diego at Miramar College, I was taking a writing class, and the teacher was doing this whole thing on uh, life in the '50s and having us write papers on it. And she's like, "So look at this picture of June Cleaver. When June Cleaver, you know, whenever they filmed her, she was wearing heels and full makeup and everything like that." and a nice dress, and look at the whole family. The father wore a suit every day. And she's like, does your family wear a suit? How often does, does one of your relatives wear a suit? And I was like, when we have to go to court? <laughs> the whole class busted up, and she was just like, all right, well, I didn't, I didn't expect that. <laughs> ew, ew, hey, guys. Ew. We're Wait. at this field, OK? Taking a walk. It's like 58 degrees here in Las Vegas. Round, round, get around, I get around. Two days ago, Woo I was like, it's so hot, I'm melting, I'm melting. We were eating ice cream last week. Look at me! <laughs> yeah. Look at me! She's dying. I'm, I'm, I'm handling it like a man, okay? But here's, here, I'll show you the field. Oh, there's the moon. Anyway, so this is. This is kind of it. I guess dudes play soccer or something here. I don't know. So, you know, you have anything to add? Cool. Believe it or not, that was pretty much most of the day. We didn't really do much. Like errands and work and boring stuff. And uh, I didn't see her much. And I was on the phone a lot and doing stuff for my dad and you know all that junk so um <clears throat> it wasn't really a lot to record that day but we got some stuff and okay the song of the day is tomorrow was a long time but not bob dylan rod stewart now there's a big fight going on in this house right now okay because rick is all about oh no the bob dylan version is better and i was just like uh-uh no don't get me wrong I'm a Bob Dylan fan. Well, for the most part. I saw him in concert at um, ACL Fest 2007, I think. And I was like, uh, I'm going to need my money back. You could, I, it was like three minutes before I realized he was playing like a Rolling Stone. 
okay? And I was fairly sober. That was, no, no. You need to stop touring. You need to stop making albums. No. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I prefer Rod Stewart's version. I just like it better. There's like three-part harmony and shit, okay? So, you know what? You guys go and you guys listen to Bob Dylan's version of Tomorrow's a Long Time. You listen to Rod Stewart's. And then you come back and you tell me which one you liked the best. Um, don't buy it, though, until you decide which one you like the best. Or even if you like the song at all. You might hate this song. You might be like, God, you have the worst taste in music ever. And then I'm going to put a video response to that with a lot of curse words. Because, damn, I have awesome taste in music. Respect this, okay? Don't make me get my guitar and smack you with it. Okay, I'm not actually threatening physical violence. Yes, I am. I do it all the time. But they're em mostly empty threats. Alright, you guys. I'm gonna go uh, brush my hair because I like to do it after I talk to you. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm... I, I've got vertigo. I've got other things. I just... To, so, you know. Leave me alone, man. I don't think I look half bad, right? Give me... I look okay, right? For, like, no makeup, my hair pulled back, you know. Okay, maybe I do. I don't know. But, I gotta go. Peace out.